Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I just wanted to come on really quick and give you just a little tour of all the plants I have in the dining room right now. It's more than I've ever had. I'm starting to run out of space, but I wanted to show you everything while it's blooming and looking so pretty. So I'll start here in the center of the table. These are amaryllis that I potted up in early December. They're called Terracotta Star. And you can see how they have that beautiful kind of chartreuse green star patterning in the center there. It's so pretty. So I have another one coming up here and then another bud here. So I can expect a few more blooms on these. And I just really kind of crudely and organically topped this with some pine cones that were a decoration for Christmas on our table runner here. There were some cyclamen in here, but I have to tell you, I am a cyclamen killer. <laughs> I am not good with it. I know their needs and requirements, but I can't offer it to them in the spaces that I want to grow them so they never succeed. Um, this is not a place where they would really want to grow in the middle of our dining room table. There's not enough light. I think it's probably too warm for them. So they kind of fizzled out. And then I just have like a couple little pears tucked in and some little pine cones and some preserved moss but it's been a really nice centerpiece here uh, all through the holidays. I potted this up in early December and I just have it on a little copper tray there uh, just to give it a little bit of elevation and to keep the moisture off of the runner. Um, the terracotta saucer with this, um, it is, it is it has a waterproofing inside of it, but with anything like this, you just wanna be really careful. I mean, it's not like that glossy enamel. Um, and that is from my favorite, Peter Wakefield, Wakefield Handmade. And you can see it's getting this really nice patina on it. It is looking, um, you know, more worn, but I love that look, don't you? That aged look. Um, so it doesn't have that pure white look that I'll show you on one of the other pots I have here in the back, but I could clean this up with a little soap and water. It was out on our porch steps all season, so it has that aged look, which I kind of love. So I'm probably going to leave it. I had someone the other day tell me that they love squeaky clean pots, and I thought, oh, no. <laughs> the more aged, the better for me. Um, okay, so I'll just move along here. Quick tour, you guys. You can see I love to collect just like little pots and the bee scap and baskets and things. I love that like full, uh, really kind of cottagey, almost like a potting shed in here. I really love that. This is a vintage dough box, uh, the table that it's on. I got that actually from Facebook Marketplace and it was a really good buy. You can see the wood is like so well loved and worn and I just love it. And this lid actually lifts off and there's some storage inside if I wanted to. Um, but I'll start over here. So this is a little lemon tree. I've never had a lemon tree before. And it's a propagation from my friend, Brandon Lark Roberts. I know you've heard me mention him many, many times. And he sent me this from his lemon tree. So I know it's, you know, it requires tons of sun. I don't have a lot of space for it. And honestly, even if it never bared fruit, I would be so happy to have it here because it makes me think of Brandon. I use a Spoma Citrus. It's like a little liquid um, if I see any yellowing. So I have some of that on hand. And with all of my plants um, inside, I always water them very deeply. I'll take them over to my kitchen sink and I water them deeply, I let the water run out, then I'll put them back in here and I'll wait until maybe about the top inch of the soil feels a little dry to the touch. Then I bring them back, I give them a good soak. It's always better to do that and to give your plants uh, a good deep drink. You don't want them searching for water and giving them just like little, little drops of water every day, that's not a good thing. So deep watering and then I let them drain and I bring them back over. And just to show you that pot that I had in the middle of the table, this is what the finish did look like. This is a brand new pot for me. This is a Wakefield, Wakefield handmade um, orchid pot. So it's specifically made for orchids. It has holes in the sides here for airflow. And I have this planted in potting soil that I mixed with um, like a sphagnum moss and, and just mixed it all together. So it's really light and well draining. You don't wanna water these often. I've never had an orchid before either. Um, and I know they say to put like an ice cube on it. 
you know, once a week and let that ice cube melt. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And so far, so good. It's looking beautiful. I've had it here since Thanksgiving. And then just as far as decorations go, I have these beautiful pine cones that my friend Carrie that I met actually on Facebook and Instagram through my gardening page. She's so wonderful. And last year and this year, because she knows I'm obsessed with them, she gathered me um, some little pine cones from her garden and sent them to me. And I just love them. And I put them everywhere. And I always think of Carrie. And I just think it's the sweetest thing. So I put some in this little galvanized scoop here that I got on Etsy. And... You can see I'm, I'm putting touches of spring in. I'm thinking spring, you guys. I added a little bird's nest there. And the other day was my birthday and my boys gave me this beautiful yellow primrose that I just topped with a little bit of moss. And I like to use sometimes candle holders. This is actually a candle holder as a little riser. So again, I'll let this drain. These in particular don't like a lot of water. So I'm very sparing with that. Um, and then, you know, once it's done draining, I'll put it on something like this instead of your traditional saucer. Sometimes I think that's pretty. And then I have the myrtle topiary, as you can see. I'm get, getting a little bit of a myrtle topiary forest over here. <laughs> I absolutely love them. Um, I've had these three right here for, I'm going to say a year and a half almost two years, and those are from NY Topiary. You can look them up on Instagram if you're interested, and I think they have a website now. Um, so I really, really love those. And then I got this smaller one from a place called Bella Vintage Home. And the thing with Myrtle is you really need to water them. They need bright light. They would prefer to be outside in the summer sun, in the, um, you know, the nice warmth, soaking in those summer uh, and spring rays. You would bring them outside when, when the spring temperatures start to warm up. Um, I don't bring mine out. Oh, I know it's not nice, but I enjoy them so much in here that I keep my myrtle inside. I feel like I'm holding them hostage. <laughs> I guess this just means I'll have to get some that are dedicated to outside only. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for excuses now, but I love the myrtle. Um, they're, they're needy plants. Um, lots and lots of water. And when I say it, I mean it like every other day, every day in the summertime, I'm watering these and a lot like Fill, fill it up until the water rises up and soaks through and drains out and do that a few more times because they are thirsty, thirsty plants. Um, but I love them. And I just care, you know, I trim them. You can see that they'll start to get little pieces of new growth, much slower growth in the winter than in the summer. Um, so I will give them haircuts as needed to shape them, but I really enjoy them. And you can see this little one has a braided trunk that they started there with just two pieces that they kind of twist together to make one topiary. And then this is just some moss that I gathered from my pavers, believe it or not, outside. There's a uh, dome of soil underneath of this. I just mounded it up and then pieced it together this year and it all formed so nicely. I had nice big pieces of it and I water that very frequently too. And you can see I have different top dressings. This is a living moss. This is a terrarium moss. So I got this on Amazon, but you could get this at a, probably a, an aquarium shop, um, maybe a pet store, you know, any place that would sell exotic plants. Um, and I do keep this really well watered. I have a little mister that I will come along and mist the moss. And my boys also gave me a brand new little orchid here. So I just got that for my birthday the other day. And then this is an anthurium. I hope I'm saying that right. It looks similar to a peace lily. And I've had this one here. You can see there's a nice shiny new leaf um, for about a year. I think I got this last winter. I do have one more surprise that I want to show you guys. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you may already know. But we have a new puppy. We got a new dog. Uh, he's a miniature schnauzer and he is just over two months old. His name is Baxter and I'm going to go get him to show you guys. He's such a sweetie pie. Come here, Baxter. 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 Come here. Come here, Bob. Come on. 
Come here. Come here. Come. <gasps> hello. Hi. Hi. Can you say hello to everybody? Are you a good boy? Yes, you are. Oh, you're my cutie pie. Hi. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Hi. Are you a, are you my garden helper now? Yeah. Okay. You trying to find some sunshine to lay in? Okay. <laughs> I just want to introduce you guys to little Baxter. I hope that you're all doing wonderful and having a very happy beginning to your new year and all good things in the new year ahead. I can't wait for all the new garden projects. I just had Mark help me set up some serious grow lights in the basement. So I'm planning on showing you guys more of that, uh, what I'll be planting, what I'll be using, the lights I have. And um, this is my second year of growing plants under grow lights. So I'm getting the hang of it a little bit, uh, always learning all the time. And I'll be doing some winter sowing in milk jugs too, but I'm waiting maybe another week or so for that. Um, so thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day today. My dad got me some pretty yellow roses and carnations and I wanted to show you that too for my birthday. They're so pretty and they smell so good. So nice to see bright pops of color in the winter.